<laughs> Look at her go, man. Holy shit! Okay, let's get down just a little bit lower. Aim for center of mass. If we can't hit her in the head, we'll hit her in the boobs. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, uh, where we play this game on the same difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed. This entire map is made up of a wasteland with one small green biome in the middle of it, generated from nitrogen. And um, we are about ready for Horde Night, so we've just got a couple hours left. So I've spent some time, uh, made a little hole down there, and that shit, uh, mined up some um, stuff cobblestone that sort of thing um for the horde night and what we're going to do is we're going to go over to one of these pois here and we're going to make kind of like a little ramp uh bridge type of thing and try and funnel the zombies uh to us so it's really just a matter of choosing which one of these pois we want to base on um and seeing which one's the toughest they might all be the same i'm not really sure uh, let's repair that. We don't have a whole lot of time here, so so this guy is made out of as one thousand steel, so that's pretty strong. What are what about this one? Same thing. Okay. Seekers could probably get in inside too, but not that doesn't really matter a whole bunch. Um, let's go over to this um, to the gears place here and see how tough this is. I suspect it's probably the same. Yeah, that's 1,002. All right, well, let's... um, Let's go ahead and do this one, I think. I think we'll do this one. Um, I just want to make sure there's no other avenue for the Zekers to get up on the roof before we totally commit. So let's just walk around really quick. You know, they could pile up on this dumpster, which isn't good. Um, they could get up through the shed here, too. Um, so we're gonna, we'd have to prevent that from happening. Let's go take a look at that. The reason why I would prefer to do it here is because that's just a flat surface, whereas both of those have like a little overhang, which might affect what we're trying to do. This has the, the working workbench. Yeah, so I would want... I'd want to get rid of that there. And I'm not even going to bother wrenching it. Let's just get, completely break it. So that way they can't get up this way. Oh, let's make sure we don't have any bird repops up here. Uh, not likely, there's, yeah, there's no way they can get up through there either, so. But I think what we'll do is we'll make our stand on this end of the building here. Okay, so let's, uh, let's also just get rid of this. Probably don't need to, but we'll be on the safe side here. And I made up, um, some flagstone, which we will, I did bring a hammer with me, yeah. Uh, which will upgrade to cobblestone, hopefully we have enough to do that. But this is going to be really, really simple, really basic setup here. Okay, so we're going to stand pretty much right here, and this is the area that we're going to work in. Let's go deal with this dude. Or do that as the case may be. Okay. Alright, so I want to... Uh, I also want to get rid of this. I don't think this is a problem, but it could be, so... Let's just make sure it's not. Oh, come on, stamina. Uh, coffee. Give me some coffee. We don't have a lot of time here. We are really short on time, actually. Okay, so let's... Let's measure this out, so... Uh, we'll go start here. One, two. Three. Four and five. So what we'll do is we'll start. 
the ramp for those guys there. Okay, and then... more yeah okay uh let's see we got 14 blocks left okay i want to extend i want to have a little bit of an area up here too based upon what i'm planning on doing okay now let's go come up here really quick <clears throat> and um actually here no let's do this we might have to make a few more flagstone blocks To get this to work right and actually too the other thing is ps, ps, ps. no this is okay so what we want to do is we want to change these guys to um the wedge tips and then we're going to need to do a uh, an advanced rotation until we get them the right direction here oh i just had it darn it uh. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Um so Okay, hold on a sec. Hold on. There. Okay. So we're going to have to we're going to have to make um a little bit of a platform here and we're definitely going to need more flagstone blocks too so let's do another 10 i want to i want to save some cobblestone so we can actually do some upgrades too if we can um all right so let's go back here and we're going to do uh, just two normal blocks right there so they have a little bit of a platform to stand on i'm not gonna i don't have time to double up on that part so it's just gonna have to stay the way that it is Okay, now let's go back to our wedge tip, and we will go um, copy rotation. It looks like it's already copied. There we go. Now we need to flip it around the other way. So if we go back to a simple, is it going to flip it down? Yeah, it's not working the way I want it. All right, what if we did an on face and then flip it around? There we go. That's what we want to do. Okay, good. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six more flagstone blocks in total uh, to make the ramp here. Let's get rid of this. I don't have time to... Oh, shit. That's not what I wanted to do. I don't have time to make the the other ramp, so we're just going to have to do the 45s here. Excellent. Okay. So, if you guys have never seen this before, we can walk across this, but the zombies cannot. Um, I'm not expecting to get cops tonight. Because uh, this is only going to be day seven. What is our game stage, by the way? Yeah, we're only in game stage 20, so this is going to be a pretty light horde. And so the idea is we set up our junk turret here. And um, we just, you know, I made I made up some crossbow bolts. I, bra I grabbed my bow and all of the stone arrows that we had. Uh, I'm not going to, I might shoot the rest of the blunderbuss, but I'm, I'm not really going to shoot gun ammo. I'm going to try and conserve that as much as possible. And so we'll, you know, we'll use the bows. I've got... Um, Let's see, where is it? I got 12 Molotovs, too, so we're pretty good shape there, too. All right, um, the last thing to do to get this ready to go, let's go ahead and eat. I made up uh, four pieces of boiled meat, and I had one right before I started the episode. Let's eat two right now. We'll save the third one. And I just want to upgrade 
Uh, I want to upgrade this especially to a cobble. And then depending upon how much, you know, we have left over, because I don't have time to heart, you know, to mine up anymore. Yep, that's it. Doggone it. Uh, all right, well, we're going to have to make do with this, then. This will have to do the trick. Um, so, let's spend the rest of our time... We've got about an hour and a half. Wrenching a couple more cars, and then we're going to turn all of the... Oh my goodness, I can't see. Uh, we're going to turn all of the scrap iron that we get from doing that into uh, more junk turret ammo. And also uh, more Molotovs, too. So I never got all of the rest of the cars um, wrenched up, either. Oh, nice. Uh, which is something I had planned to do, uh, but just didn't get it done. So we will... That's probably something I will do off-camera after the Horde Night. And get all that done, and that way we'll be ready to go. Um for the next, start of the next episode. That's the general plan anyways, we'll see how things go. Okay. Now I think, I think we hit all of the, let's get rid of those and get rid of those and scrap these and get rid of those and scrap these. We just don't need that stuff right now. Um, and all of this will turn into junk turret ammo. Watch out for landmines here. I think I got all the cars in this junkyard, but not in the other one. Or maybe it was the other way around. I can't remember now. Let's p peek in there. Can we tell? Uh, no, not really. I've got one in-game hour left. Yeah, okay, so there's no cars in here. We got all those cars. Uh, there's a bunch over in my junkyard where my base is, but that's pretty much all all we're going to be able to do. Um, okay, can we make any more Molotovs with what we just got? Yes, we can. How many? One. All right. So let's hit these. We'll get just a little bit more iron for our junk turret. Um, can't really see very well. It's so dark. You know, how many, we got seven torches. That's the other thing we should do. Let's put a torch there. And let's put a torch there and there. So we have just a little bit of light. Maybe we'll even put one right there. So we can kind of see what the hell's going on. Okay. So let's just hit the scrap iron with the remaining time that we have here. Lots of scrap iron in the wasteland. Lots of scrap iron. landmines here. Okay, there is one more car. Let's go hit this car and then we gotta head back. Oh, 
And we'll take that. We'll scrap this. That's the second wheel we have found. So, you know, if we wanted to make a bicycle at some point, we uh, would be able to do that. Pipes and crushed sand. Oh, that that rock scared me. <laughs> it looked like a that looked like a bear for a second there. Oh my god, that scared me. Okay, let's go. Let's get on the roof. We got to get going. It's time. It's time to partay. Yeah, if I, if I would have had a little bit more time, I would have done this a little different than we did, but it is what it is, so. Got another engine. Is there any kind of a container up here? Oh, you know what? Let's just make a chest. You know, I, something did occur to me, though. This is the wasteland, after all, so. Uh, it is poss possible that we could get cops. Cops could make this uh, a little tricky, this little setup. Okay, let's just put a few things over here. I want to get this down and make sure it's fully loaded. Okay, and let's get our crossbow out. And start helping our drunk turret. Yeah, see, one, one of the things I would have done differently is I would have made a little bit more of a platform because they don't stay up there for very long. Is that the uh, vulture going to come after us? Or is that just a normal out in the wild vulture? It's making me freaking nervous, man. Okay, here. Let's, uh... We're going to need... I'm sure we're going to run out of junk turret ammo, so... Let's get that crap in. Okay, I don't know if that buzzer's going to come after us. I, I want to say he probably would have by now. If he was going to. Uh-oh. Did they already bust the ramp out? Come on up, guys. There we go. Yeah, that's the other thing, too. You know, I would have, of course, uh, upgraded this a little bit. All the way to cobble if we would have had a little more time, too, but... Hmm. Ah, <laughs> I missed. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Um, we got a bunch of Zekers down below. And if they're all kind of grouped up, let's, uh, let's give them a little something something here. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, shit. I thought I was going to fall off. <laughs> oh, man, that was close. <laughs> that would have been bad. Okay, don't get too close to the edge, old guy. Look at that. 2,000 XP, man. Beautiful. Did we, we didn't catch Edgar on that one. Okay, more are coming in. There, that's a nice little grouping of them. Oh, man, they just ran away as soon as I threw the Molotov. You bastards! Okay, let's get... Um, Let's pick you up and get you reloaded. Really hard to get headshots in with them not having... Okay, so do we have another big group of them down here? We got her. Hmm. 
Burn, baby, burn. Look at that big mama on fire there. Here, I want to do something real quick. So let's grab these. And let's very carefully yep, get out here. So that way we can kind of come and stick. Buzzard. Oh, that was a bad throw. It should catch them on fire if they run through it, you know? Okay, well, they're in the house, unfortunately, so they're not, like, clumped up against the wall anymore. We need, we need to stay closer to this, too, because that's what kind of gets them to come up there. Just got to make sure we don't fall off ourselves, you know what I mean? I can't sit here and perpetually hold the sights in because it uses stamina. I should probably just shoot from the hip. Yeah, let's just shoot from the hip. That's the best we're going to be able to do. I'm not going to get a lot of headshots that way, but it is what it is. Is our junk turned out of ammo again? Yep, sure is. That thing doesn't hold very much ammo. that a little closer to the edge and see if that helps at all. Okay, let's go out here. They're all grouping up inside the house now. I've got an idea. Let's run over here real quick. I wonder if we can get a bunch of them to group up down here. Come on over, guys. Hmm. That doesn't seem to be working too well. <laughs> okay, let's run back over here. Yeah, there's no... There's not a whole lot of point and use the Molotovs if you can't get them grouped up. There we go. We killed her. <laughs> Look. <laughs> She's just hanging on. Her arm got stuck. You're out of ammo again? Dude! We need to put a frickin' uh, magazine extender thingamadoodle in you. If I can get the crossbow right about where their head will appear. Yeah, see, just like that. Nice. Off with his head. So it's right about there. Of course, it depends upon the height of the Z, too. There we go. 
another one. You know, this might not be a bad time for us to go ahead and put a point into archery. Let's do it. Okay. Since we're going with a, you know, kind of a stealthy stealth build, that's the plan anyway, I'm probably going to max out bows anyways, or at least get it to level 4. That one missed. Okay, I need to lower it down just a little bit. Okay, now let's try it again. Oh, shit! There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Off with those heads. Oop. Oof, she's so fast, she got down before I could even pull the trigger. Yeah, little girl, uh, Ar Arlene zombie is really hard to hit because she's so damn fast. <laughs> Look at her go, man. Holy shit. Okay, let's get down just a little bit lower. Aim for center of mass. If we can't hit her in the head, we'll hit her in the boobs. Whatever it takes, right? There we go. Okay, let's get this reloaded. Yeah, that's why when you make a platform like this, you want more of a of a of a flat area so you have a little more time to line up the shot. Ooh, there we go. We took Arlene out. But I like I said I just ran out of time, so I mean, we threw this thing together in, what, less than 10 minutes real time? So it's really easy, uh, early game base. Okay, let's just switch to our other crossbow for now. And I'm also going to, we'll shoot up the rest of our iron bolts too. That'll free up a spot, a spot for us. Gotta get a little bit higher, right about there. Ooh, nice! Right in the mouth. Edgar's a little taller than Arlene. Okay, two more iron bolts, and then we'll be back to the stone. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Popping heads, baby! Popping heads. All right, I don't have any more feathers, do I? No. So as soon as we shoot the last of these bolts up, then we'll have to switch to our bow. Because I still have quite a few uh, stone arrows that we can use, too. Businessman is, like, scary fast, too. There, he's dead. Okay, it's one o'clock in the morning. Three more hours to go. Eat it, Edgar. We're almost to the next level, too. All right, are we, uh, have we killed the horde for the most part?
I don't know if that guy down there is a Blood Moon zombie. He might be a normal. Right, let's get out onto here. Cur encourage him to get up here on the thing. <laughs> Alright. I think that's it, guys. I think we killed the horde. Except for that damn buzzer that keeps flying around. Let's just wait a couple more moments and make sure nobody else comes and then uh, we'll probably head back over to the junkyard and I'm going to start making preparations to leave this area finally finally leave it took us a few more episodes than I had originally planned you know uh, to get on the road but it, it was needed you know we really didn't need to take this time to go through all these POIs get geared up a little bit get leveled up a little bit because, you know, now we can we can start traversing the wasteland and we don't necessarily have to do it by perching up on two blocks at one at a time. Because, you know, if we just get one onesie twosie zombies after us, we'll just kill them outright. So we'll be able to move more quickly. Okay, yep, I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking Horde Knight's over. I'm thinking we're good. So let's pick this up. So we got uh, we got really close to level eight there, so that's not bad. Let's grab all that stuff, and I want to pick my torches back up because it's not likely that we're going to come back here. All right, I think that's just a normal, normal Ziki. That one went right in the noggin. Oh man, thought I had her there. She must be feral. I think I, I jerked my hand up there. Now she's outrunning our trigger finger. Nope, she wasn't feral. Okay. Um, alright. Are we... Did I see a spider crawling around down there? I think we're good to go. We can hit the, the vulture. <laughs> Pretty darn hard to do with an arrow. Not impossible, but hard. Okay, well, you know, he's not bothering us, and I want to waste bullet ammo on him, so screw him. Okay, guys, um, I think I'm going to wrap up the episode here. <clears throat> the horde is obviously finished for, for the night, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to work, go back over to our junkyard, and I'm going to wrench all the cars in that junkyard. And we still have six Molotovs, so we didn't burn all of those up. And then uh, after that, I'm going to um, start going through all my stuff and deciding what we're going to take with us. Because here's the thing: um, we can't we can't completely load up. We need to save some room, you know, for stuff along the way. Not to mention the fact that we'd be super encumbered too. <clears throat> um, but I have no intention of coming back to this location anytime soon, if ever. It just really depends upon, you know, if we're able to to find what we're looking for. Now, there is one one thing we we could do. I was thinking about maybe going um, east, but we're we're fairly close, you know, north and south wise. Um, that's the vertical center of the map right there. Um, and we had a uh, I had another airdrop that that came in uh, off camera. Uh, sh no, not track waypoint. Well, where's the show? There we go. Show on map, and it's um, it's off to the west. So what I'm thinking we might do is we might head towards that, and then we'll just keep on going west, um, as our first you know direction for looking for 
the green biome. That is our goal. But um, yeah, I think that's it for tonight. So I will bring you guys back in the next episode. It should be morning by then. Um, and I should hopefully have everything figured out in terms of what we're going to take with us. And then we are going to set off and go on our sojourn to look for the beloved, blessed oasis in this otherwise hellish wasteland world. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.